All right, good morning and welcome to this Active Flow and Breathwork class. My name is Brian and I'm honored and delighted to be here this morning. Today's class is going to be a practice of activating breath. So we're going to balance breath with alternate nostril. Then we're going to activate breath with a uh, bastrika. And then we're going to move to the mat and do some uh, movement practices that'll build to sun salutation and then our pinnacle pose today, which will be a dancer's pose. And so it'll be a single legged balance posture. And then we'll come down into guided rest. So all in all will be about a 45 minute practice today. Um, so the main things before we start um, because of breath work. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you're supporting your breath. So clear your passageways, take a moment to do that and make sure that you're able to breathe freely and clearly without obstruction through the nose and through the mouth and throat. So whatever you need to do to support that practice because support precedes action in our first guiding principle here in Veteran Yoga Project. So supporting ourselves then and secondarily, we wanna remember that it is our practice. So these are offers and suggestions and invitations and you are in the privacy of your own space and are only required to be present and to breathe. Everything else is an option. So feel into what is right for you. In the breath work particularly, especially when we move into the activating breaths like Bastrika, it's very important that we do not over-activate, we do not over-energize, we do not over-extend or over-amp ourselves. The body is very still. The awareness is on the breath and the nostril. The focus is in the brow point if the eyes are closed or at the tip of the nose, something just beyond the tip of the nose if the eyes are narrowed and hooded. And we're only doing what's right for us. Listen to the wisdom of your own body. Honor that wisdom by following it. And so if you find yourself getting too active, you find yourself getting too engaged, then back off. Stop, reframe, reconnect, recenter and then start over, just pick it up where you are. Also, your pace will be your pace. So everyone's pace will be different. You have your own internal inhalation and exhalation count that is a normal and natural ex inhale and exhale for you. That'll be different from everyone else. And so you, you're encouraged and, re and requested to find your own pace and follow your own pace. You may be going faster than me, slower than me, that's okay. We're not all trying to do this in a synchronized unison form. We're trying to find our own practice here so that we can utilize the tools of the practice in our own lives and when we don't have each other around to follow. So, so look for the rhythm that works for you where you can be still, where you can be centered and aware, where you can be in your own practice. Okay, let us find center and awareness. So let us start as always by finding our supports. So find yourself in a supported posture, whatever that means to you. Take a moment to bring yourself into yourself, coming into this place and into this space. And as you find yourself in your posture, feel into the support. Now, where is the support? Feel into the place where your body is in contact with something. So whatever part of your body is touching something, maybe your feet are flat on the floor underneath your knees, hip distance apart. Maybe you're um, seated cross-legged in your sides of your calves, thighs are lightly touching. Maybe you're wherever you're seated, maybe you can feel your sits bones, the pointy bones at the base of the hip girdle. Maybe you can feel those sits bones in contact with the chair seat or the cushion or the bolster or the mat. Maybe you're back up against the wall or back against the mat as your feet are up the wall. Whatever part of your body is in contact with something, feel into the sensation of that connection. And bring your awareness to that sensation of connection as support. What is it like to be supported in this moment? And then having established support, let us imagine that we can root in at those places of connection, as if you could extend roots through those places of connection, down through the sides of the calves, down through the sits bones, down into the earth, holding you steadily and securely. And as you root down, I invite you to lengthen through the side body, lengthen through the spine, lengthen through the crown. Experiment with tucking the chin to feel the back of the neck release and then find the full length of the spine from the base to the crown. 
and notice what happens for you when the spine elongates and aligns. Notice the experience in your own body, rooted down, lengthened, aligned, elongated. And then having established that, let's turn our awareness to our breath. I invite you to bring your awareness to your breath. Find the breath as it appears underneath the nasal passages and begin to breathe in and out through the nostrils. Following the inhale all the way in. And the exhale all the way out. And having established ourselves here in the present moment, I'll invite you on your next inhale to float your hands to your heart in a way that brings awareness to your heart space. Maybe the left hand over the heart, the right hand over the left, maybe the hands in prayer. Turning your awareness to your heart space, I invite you to allow to arise in your heart space gratitude, a sense of gratitude, anything that looks or feels or tastes like gratitude, maybe just the possibility of gratitude for you today, whatever it is, when gratitude is called forth for you in your heart space, see it clearly, whatever arises for you. And then I invite you to anchor whatever it is that has arisen for you right there in your heart space. And then finally, I'll invite you, if you choose to set an intention for your practice today, perhaps a simple intention to just keep your gratitude anchored or to be right there with each inhale. But whatever your intention, I invite you to state that to yourself. Hear yourself in your mind's ear as you state your intention in a clear and declarative voice as if it is already done. And then I invite you to take a full inhale. And as you exhale, if you choose, allow your chin to drop to your grateful and intentional heart and offer a benediction to seal your intention. As I say, namo, namaste. And then release the hands, lift the chin. Readjust your seat so that you can find yourself in a supported seat. We're going to, as I said, we're going to do a little bit of breath. So we're going to be seated. We're going to do an alternate nostril breath practice. And then we're going to do a Bastrika breath practice. Um, and so we're going to be here for a few minutes. So to find, if you need to switch your inner lock of your legs or change the way that you're seated to be supported in this breath, that's fine. Now, alternate nostril breath, we're going to do a very specific version of this. So we're going to practice inhaling through the left nostril. And at the top of the inhale, we'll just gently retain the breath. Not to the point of stress or strain, but just to the point where we feel like we have gently, you know, been able to find some level of connection. And then when we need to, we're going to switch and exhale through the right. Then we're going to inhale through the right. And again, when we get to the top of the inhale, we'll gently hold or retain. I like to use retain rather than hold. Hold includes in clenching and holding. We don't want to clench or hold. We just want to gently retain. We allow the breath to be in our body and we try to find stillness. And just for a moment or two until we find that. And then we're going to switch and exhale through the left. And we'll continue that pattern. Inhaling left, retaining, exhaling right. Inhaling right. Retaining, exhaling left. We're going to do six repetitions of that full pattern each side. So, so find yourself in that supported posture, rooting down, lengthening, and aligning. Bring yourself into yourself. Bring your awareness to your breath. Now, we use mental awareness here to bring awareness to the left nostril. However, if your practice involves a hand mudra, you can use your hand mudra to physically block the nostril also. But either way, whatever practice you're doing, you're going to be body very still and you're going to bring your awareness to your breath and begin to inhale through the left nostril, full inhalation. And at the top of the inhale, just gently retain this breath. And then, Switch your 
block the left nostril and exhale through the right, full exhale. Inhale through the right, full inhalation. At the top of the inhale, gently retain the breath, just find stillness. And then switch, block the right and exhale through the left. Full exhale. Inhale through the left. Gently retain. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Gently retain. Exhale through the left. Continue that pattern. Four more repetitions each time. Your rhythm, your pace, your breath, your practice. Focus on your breath. Just be here. If you finish before me, just sit still when you're done. If you finish after me, don't worry about it. We'll spend a minute sitting still. We'll all meet there. Body very still. Awareness on the breath and the nostril. Focus at the brow point if the eyes are closed or at the tip of the nose if the eyes are narrow. Last repetition if you're with me. As you complete that exhale through the left nostril, just release your awareness or your mudra. Be very still. Let everything settle. Notice your experience. Notice what shifted from the time that we started. Simple little practice a few minutes ago. Perhaps you feel a sense of balance. Nadi Shadna is a balancing practice. Maybe not. Maybe you just have your own experience of what conscious breathing pattern, interrupt breathing can do for you. Our next practice is going to be a bastric or an activating breath. Now, again, the body is very still. There's no stress or strain involved here. No overachieving, no over-efforting. We're just being full inhales and complete exhales through both nostrils. 
And on the exhale, what we're doing is we're utilizing the diaphragm to, to bring awareness to the exhale. So you know, you'll feel that belly button move maybe back and down towards the spine, you know, a little bit of a, like a pump or a bellows type action. And then on the inhale, you'll just, as you release the diaphragm, you just feel the inhale come. Don't overthink it. Don't over worry about it. You're just going to be here for a minute or two. Now we're going to do um, 10 repetitions. After the 10th repetition, we'll stop and take a slow, long inhale and exhale to recenter. And then we'll do that again. We're going to do three rounds of 10 repetitions with a long cleansing breath in between. Your rhythm, your pace, your breath. I'm going to do what um, I'll just lead from my rhythm and you can pick that up or you can just find your own. So very simple. The hands are on the knees, thumb and forefinger lightly touching, <clears throat> body still and elongated and aligned, rooted into the sits bones, feeling the length of the spine from the base to the crown. We take a full inhale, both nostrils. And then we'll just use the diaphragm a little bit to sort of emphasize the exhale. And then inhale, and we'll come in through the nostrils. And again, using the diaphragm, a little bit of emphasis, not overdoing it. Full inhales, complete exhales. And then this 10th one, and then just gentle, full inhalation, cleansing breath. Tendency is to get a little active in the body frame with those bustrika movements. So we're, we're balancing that with this cleansing breath, a complete exhale, let everything go. We're gonna begin our second round, full inhalation. Long, slow, cleansing inhale. A complete exhale, maybe an extended exhale, letting go, releasing, maybe feel a little bit of energy activation in the torso. Just wanna be with yourself here. And we'll begin our third round, inhaling both nostrils. And exhale. Long, slow, cleansing inhale. And a gentle extended exhale, releasing everything. Remaining still, full inhalation. Complete exhale. Notice how your own experience here. Full inhale. A complete exhale. And having activated now, we're going to come to the mat and we're going to begin a little bit of movement practice. So today's movement practice is going to be designed to help us open the body and prepare for our sun dancer. Today's practice is called sun dancer. So come down onto your back, take the arms overhead, interlock the thumb either way, press through the heels as you inhale long through the fingers, 
flexing the toes back toward the face, just lengthening this big stretch along the back side of the body. Exhale, toes to neutral, switch the interlock of the thumb. Inhale, fingers long, press the toes away from the face. Again, big long stretch, feel the length along the top side of the body. Mm. Inhale here, exhale, back to neutral. Bring the knees into the chest, reach up and just squeeze a little bit and then rock a little side to side, just finding a little release. And we're just gonna move the hips a little bit. So lightly bring the feet to the floor, take the arms out wide. Walk the feet to the edges of the mat, out to the long, long edge of the mat. Inhale here, exhale, just let both knees gently come to the leg. Now keep your left shoulder on the mat. So just a light little movement here, just a gentle inhale back to center, exhale, knees to the left. Again, just a gentle little twist here. You're just feeling a little bit of activation. We were sitting for a while there, we wanna Get some energy moving through the hips here. And one more in each direction. Walk the feet back towards the, towards the, each other. Bring the knees into the chest, reach up and squeeze. Maybe rock a little side to side. Ah. Bring the hands down alongside the hips, palms down. Maybe you bring the thumbs underneath the sits bones for additional support. Maybe bring the back of the palm underneath the top, the SI joint at the top of the buttocks for even more support. Whatever's available to you, whatever's available. Long through the crown. And we're just gonna simply piston the legs. Left leg will extend, right knee will come in and then switch with the breath. Right leg, long left knee in. And then find your rhythm, your breath, your pace, your practice. Inhaling, exhaling. One more each side. And then bring both knees in, squeeze, rock a little side to side. Now, yeah, light warm up there, release the legs long and roll to your belly either direction. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, thumbs right at the breast line. Ribs, inside wrist lightly touching the rib cage, perhaps. Elbows moving down and back toward the hips, tops of the feet into the mat. Lengthen through the crown. And then just continue to lengthen to the crowd as you bring the chest up off the mat. A little light pressure in the fingertips for support. Just a little baby cobra here. We're just going to do a couple of pulsing cobras here. Exhale, lower down. Inhale. Rise up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. One more. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, press up into a tabletop posture. Bring the knees underneath the hips. Palms slightly in front of and underneath the shoulders. And exhale, press the hips back toward the heels, coming into your first child's pose or wisdom pose, releasing the forehead. Rounding the lower back, just releasing a little bit here. Take a full inhale here. A complete exhale. Inhale back to table. And then we're just going to do a couple of movements of cow-cat here. So on the cow, the belly will drop on the inhale. The lower spine might arch a little bit. Maybe the chest comes forward a little bit. Maybe the crown lifts a little bit. On the exhale, we round the spine, roll the hips under, release the head so the biceps frame the ears. Move at your rhythm, your pace, your breath. Inhale, arching and lifting. Exhale, rounding and releasing. Your rhythm, your pace. Your breath. 
your practice. One more here. Inhale, back to center, neutral. And then we're going to activate a little bit. So roll over the ball, the right foot, press back through the right heel. So it's just a little runner's lunge here, modified runner's lunge. Just pressing back to the heel, finding a little length. And then we'll lift the left heel, I'm sorry, the right heel level with the hips. Crown is long. Just finding length, engaging through that hip, press the toes, perhaps lift a little higher. Exhale, bring the right knee back down. Roll over the ball, the left foot, press back through the left heel. Find the length in the left side of the leg, become aware of the leg, gauge here, gauge the core, stay long through the crown, lift the left heel level with the hips. Press through the heel, lengthen through the crown, then flex the toes, maybe lift a little higher. Exhale, bring the left knee back down. Adding on if you like. Roll over the ball of the right foot, lift the right heel, flex the toes. Stay here or maybe extend the left arm bicep by the ear. This is preparatory for our later postures. Just aligning here, feel the length from toe to finger. Inhale. Exhale, bring that knee and that palm back down. Roll over the ball of the left foot. Inhale, the left leg high. Stay here or right arm extends, bicep by you. Mm. Full length of body here. Inhale. Exhale, bring that. One more time. Adding on a little bit. Just trying to prepare. Right leg, left arm. Now, if you like, fold the right knee, bring the right heel toward the buttock. I'm sorry, toward the ceiling. And then exhale, if you like, take the left hand back and find that right foot. Mm. Align the knee and the crown. Get long, breathe in. We're going to do this later in a less supported posture per se. Inhale here. Exhale, release without flopping. Extend the leg and the arm and bring that knee and that palm back down. Other side, roll over, lift the left leg, right arm. Get long. Fold the left knee. Reach back with the right hand. Find the toe, ankle, top of the foot. Align heel, knee, crown. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale here, exhale, release without flopping, extend the leg and the arm, bring that palm back down. Inhale here, exhale, curl the toes, lift the hips, press the hips high and back toward the wall behind you as you release the head toward the mat, pressing the chest and stomach back to the thighs, coming into your first down dog. Full inhale here, complete exhale. Bend one knee, press back through the opposite heel. Find that length in the back of the leg. Switch with your breath. And the other knee, press back through that other heel. Mm. Inhale, both knees bend. Exhale, both heels move in the direction of the bottom of your mat. Pressing out of the fingers and the heel of the palm. Releasing the head, crown, no tension in the neck. Downward dog, full inhalation. Complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, find your down dog. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, bring the right foot forward between the hands. Drop the left knee in the top of the left foot. Take a moment here. Stabilize. Inhale, come up, maybe through the knee, supporting yourself by straightening the elbows to lift the torso, pressing down into that right heel, finding our lunge. Inhale, take the arms up. Find your arm position, interlacing, interlocking. Maybe your arms are just 60 degree angle. It doesn't matter, your body, your practice, your breath. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bring the hands down inside the right foot. Walk the right foot out to the wide edge of your mat. 
Maybe even rolling up onto the right side of that right foot, the outside right foot. We're opening that right hip a little bit. Breathe here. This is our lizard posture. So you're supporting yourself with a long crown, rooting down through that left knee, and then maybe opening the right hip a little bit by rolling to the right outer edge of the right foot. Maybe your right sole is exposed, maybe not. Maybe you can walk the hands out a little bit, maybe not. It's not important here. We're just feeling into this hip. A little bit of opening in the hip here. So will come in handy later. Mm. All right. Wherever you are, walk the hands back under. If they were out in front, roll to the flat of that right foot. Walk the right foot back in, in line with the hip. Take the right arm outside the right foot. Bring the left hand inside of the right foot. Rotate your torso to the right. Inhale, take your right arm up. Simple twist. Opening in the torso, engaging, shining the heart. Breathing here, full inhale. Exhale, bring the right hand back down. Walk the left hand back under the shoulder. Curl the toes of the left foot. Lift the left knee. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Come back into your downward dog. A full inhalation. A complete exhale. Inhale into a plank, check your alignment. Maybe you needed to adjust your hands or feet slightly to be balanced here in your plank. And then having achieved that, exhale, lift the hips up and back, release the head, come back into downward dog. Full inhalation. Complete exhale. Inhale here, look up between the hands. Exhale, bring the left foot forward between the hands. Drop the right knee in the top of the right foot. Stabilize in your posture first. Support yourself here, rooting down into that left heel, the left foot, right knee, top of the right foot. Maybe bring the hands through the knee. Come back into your, come up into your lunge. Inhale, come, arms up, find your arm position. Might be different on this side. It's absolutely okay. We're not fully symmetrical beings. Find your length here, full inhale. Exhale, be here. Mm. Inhale here, get long. Exhale, bring the hands down through prayer inside the left foot. Walk the left foot out to the wide edge of the mat maybe even rolling out onto the outside of that left end. Maybe not. You know what your body will allow, what your body needs, what your body wants. Listen to the wisdom of your body. Breathing into this, opening in that left hip, staying rooted down into the right hip. Maybe walk the hands out a little bit, maybe not. Whatever's available to you here, I'm just feeling into some opening in that left hip. Mm, breathing here, full in here. Complete exhale. Full inhalation. A complete exhale. If your hands are out in front, slowly walk them back underneath the shoulders. Roll to the flat of the left foot. Walk the left foot in line with the hip. Take the left hand outside. Bring the right hand inside the left foot. Stabilize here, lengthen through the crown, and then inhale, rotate the torso left, maybe taking the left arm up. Simple twist, mm -hmm. shine the heart. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Inhale here, exhale, left hand down. Walk the right hand out under the shoulder, curl the toes of the right foot, lift the right knee, step back, press back, downward facing dog. Full inhalation. Complete exhale. Inhale to a plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or reverse push up, lower down. Come all the way to the mat. Release the tops of the feet. Inhale, lift the crown, baby cobra. Exhale, curl the toes, lift the hips, up and back, release the head, downward facing dog. Full inhalation. 
Complete exhale. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, right foot forward between the hands. Stay lifted on that left knee. Press back through the left heel to find your balance. Stabilize by rooting down into the right foot. Maybe pick up your hands. Mm. Inhale, let your arms come back along your hips, like them through the crown. Lightning lunge here. Exhale, sinking. Inhale here. Exhale, hands down, frame the foot, step back, press back, downward facing dog. A full inhale, a complete exhale. <coughs> Excuse me, inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, left foot forward between the hands. Stay lifted in the right knee. Press back through the right heel to find balance and support in your feet. Rooting down into the left foot, stabilize, pick up your hands, lengthen through the crown. Inhale here. Exhale, hands come back along the hips. Lightning lunge. Full inhale. A complete exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, hands down, step back, press back, downward facing dog. Full inhale, complete exhale. Inhale to a plank, exhale, lower all the way to the mat. Release the tops of the feet, inhale, lift the chest, cobra. Exhale, curl the toes, lift the hips, press back, downward facing dog. Full inhale, complete exhale. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, right foot forward between the hands. Left foot joins it, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back, parallel to the mat with the torso. Exhale, release into a forward fold. Bend the knees, feel the weight balanced in the feet and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Torso comes up right, the shoulders will naturally roll up and down, the crown will lift, align the chin parallel to feel the length of the spine. Move your hips slightly forward, your hip and your back, your palms slightly back. Find yourself standing in mountain pose. On your own, two feet on your mat, having your own back. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, release the hand. Release the fingers towards the mat. Turn the palms forward. Be in your mountain. Full inhale. All right. Moving in. We're going to do two sun salutations, and then we'll move into our dancer pose. So I'll cue the first one, and then we'll, the second one will be at our own pace. So inhale the arms up. Tall mount. Exhale. Hinge and fold from the hips. Release the head. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold, place the hands beside the feet. Step the right foot back into a lunge, left foot back to joint. Inhale to your plank. Exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin, or reverse push up. Inhale, rise up, cobra, or maybe up dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Every time we come to down dog, we'll take a breath, stabilize, full inhalation. Complete exhale. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, left foot forward to lunge, right foot forward to join it, forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Gathering as we go through tall mountain. Exhale, release the hands. Every time we come to the mountain, we'll take a breath. Stabilizing here, full inhale. Complete exhale. Other side, inhaling the arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, flat back. 
Exhale, fold. Left foot back, right foot joins it. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower your choice. Inhale, rise up, your choice. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, right foot forward, left foot joins it, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root and rise through tall mountain. Exhale, release the hands. Take a breath, stabilize. That was one. So we're going to do one more. Complete sun on your own rhythm, your own pace. Follow your breath. One movement, one breath. Find your flow. Greet the sun. Be in your practice. Each time you come to down dog, stabilize breath. Each time you come to mountain, Stabilize breath. Meeting up in mountain. We're going to move into our dancer's pose. So what I suggest that you do is find a support, i.e. a wall, and place the wall just out of reach of either arm. Okay. So you're maybe six inches, maybe three inches, maybe, maybe you're just slightly touching if you want to feel that support right from the beginning. We're going to actually lean in a little bit. So I like to be just off the wall a little bit as we lean in, we'll find that support. But you do what's right for you and your practice. Maybe you're just feeling that support right at your fingertips in the standing posture. Root down into the left foot. Find yourself on the left side. Now, this move we did earlier, you're going to pick up your right heel and bring it toward your right buttock. So your knees are in alignment. Now, again, maybe you need the support here. Utilize the supports as you need. Support precedes action. Continue to lift the right foot. Reach down with the right hand. See if you can find the right ankle, the top of the right foot, or maybe a yogi toe lock, grasping the big toe. Again, bring the knees back together. Straighten the spine. Find your balance here first. This, is, this may be it for you. This may be your posture for today. This is our dancer pose. Now, if you like, you can continue to lift that right knee back and away from the hip, bringing the sole of the right foot to the ceiling. As you do that, your torso might lean forward. This is why I said, if you back off the wall a little bit, as you lean in, you'll find that support. Maybe your torso comes parallel to the mat. Long through the crown, Right knee extended behind, breathing here. Find your drishti, your gazing point, focus. 
full ending. Complete exit. Centered in balance. If you fall out, just fall back in. Find where you need to be. Utilize the supports that are available to you. Full inhale. Complete exit. Inhale here. Exhale. Slowly begin to bring the knee back towards the body, lifting the torso. Come back up into your upright posture. Release without flopping. Set the right foot back down. Find your mountain pose. Take a full inhale, tall mountain. Exhale, hinge and fold, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root and rise. Exhale, release the hands. Roll the shoulders. Release the hands. Take a breath. Find yourself here. Stabilize. Utilize what you've learned from that side. Feel the difference one leg to the other. One leg might feel a little longer than the other. I'm going to adjust a little bit for me so that I have a little more movement here. And again, you're going to set up so your supports are available to you. Find yourself on the right side. Root into the right foot. Pick up the left heel. Bring the left heel towards the left buttock. Reach down with the left hand, find the foot, maybe the ankle, maybe the top of the toes, the top of the foot, maybe a yogi toe lock, whatever's available to you. Bring the knees in alignment. Ooh, notice the difference one side to the other. Maybe your post-surgery knee, a little different feeling over here. Find your supports. Inhale, maybe begin to bring that left knee back away from the body as you lean the torso in. Mm. Maybe your torso comes parallel to the mat. Breathing deep. Full inhale. Complete exhale. Finding your gazing point. Focus. Always breathing, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale here, exhale, slowly begin to bring the torso back upright, bringing the knee back in the low, and maybe you fall out, and that's okay. Release the left foot. Inhale, the arms up, exhale, inch and fall. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, release the hands. Take a breath. Take a moment here. Just feel into the experience where the energy is in your body. Take an inhale to cleanse. And exhale, come down onto your back gently and slowly, moving into our guided rest posture. So take your time finding your way into your guided rest posture. Taking a moment to provide yourself with any additional support that you may want in your guided rest. Maybe you have an eye cloth. Maybe you have a blanket or a shawl. Maybe you have a bolster for your knees. Whatever it is that you need to help yourself and be supported maybe perhaps 1% more. Establishing yourself on your back. Let your toes fall open. Take your heels as wide as is comfortable for you on your mat. Bring your palms down by your side. Palms up. Lengthen through your crown. And then feel into your lower spine. Maybe you feel as if you could pull down on your side ribs. 
so that you feel your lower spine against the mat. And then let go. Just let go. Be done. You're done. Allow yourself to be done. Just release. Release any shaping of the breath of the body. Release any analysis of the practice. Just allow yourself to settle into the support. Feel the entire backside of your body being supported here. Note how gravity is holding you. How your mat is supporting you. How you are complete backside of your body is supported and held. Just allow yourself to let go into that support, into that feeling of being held. Just rest. Releasing. Allowing. Accepting. Allowing everything to integrate. These moments of rest are so vital for our health. Taking this opportunity to heal to allow stillness and rest so that the body can do what it does naturally, which is heal. Creating the space. We do these practices to create the space in which healing can occur. Change our patterns and our actions, create new connections, and then integrate those changes and those new connections in this period of rest and healing, allowing, just being. Gently and compassionately. Bring your awareness back to your breath. On your inhale, bring your awareness back to your body. Maybe introduce, reintroduce movement to your body gently by wiggling the toes and the fingers. Perhaps rolling the wrists and the ankles. Or 
bringing the heels toward the hips, the knees toward the ceiling. Gently extending the right arm alongside the head. With awareness of yourself and, and where you are in your practice, I invite you to gently roll to your right side, using that right arm to cradle your head and neck. Take a moment here on your right side. Reorient. Allow the heart being elevated to beat for a moment or two. Check into your heart space. See if your gratitude and intention is still present. Just notice, no judgments, no conversation, just notice. When you are ready and only when you are ready, bring the left arm in front of your chest, use the left hand and arm for leverage and gently press yourself back to a seated posture on your mat. And as you establish yourself in your seat with your gratitude in your heart space, I'll take this opportunity to extend my sense of gratitude to you. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your practice today. I'm honored to be here, truly. And as always, I invite and encourage you to stay here. Just sitting in gratitude and being at peace with yourself. And when you do finally rise, Please take your gratitude and the echoes of your practice with you as you go through the remainder of your day, lifting yourself and all that you come into contact with. Have an amazing day.